Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add bulk add to cart buttons to your WooCommerce store. There's lots of reasons why you might, might want to add bulk add to cart buttons because it's a really quick way for your customers to select multiple products, choose their quantities, choose their variations and quickly add them to the cart in a single click. It's a really great way to improve your conversion rates compared to requiring customers to click through to the individual product page for every single product they want to buy and to add them individually. Um, we're going to do it using the WooCommerce product table plugin, which is a plugin by ourselves at barn Media. And you can see how it works on my test site here. My products are displayed in a table layout with bulk add to cart buttons. There's quantity pickers so that the customers can choose a quantity. You can tick whichever products you want. If there are variable products, you can choose variations as well. Tick those and then you can add them to the cart very quickly in a single click. Okay, so let's get started. On my website, I have two plugins installed. The free WooCommerce plugin, which powers your overall stall. And we also need the WooCommerce product table plugin, which is what we will use to add the bulk add to cart buttons to your website. Once you've got those two plugins installed, you need to, um, I assume you've already set up um, products and WooCommerce generally. So once you've done that, go to the settings page in WooCommerce product table. And you need to enter your license key to make the plugin work. You will find that in the order confirmation email. And the next step is to scroll down through the settings page and choose the settings which are relevant to uh, the bulk add to cart function that you're looking for. So the first section is to choose your columns. If you click on the read more link here, you will see that there are lots and lots of different columns of product data that you can choose. If you're adding a bulk add to cart um, button option, then your purpose is probably going to be to keep your customers on the same page to buy. You don't really want customers clicking through to the single product page particularly because there's no point having a bulk function on your product listing pages then, is there? You want people to see all the information about the products, make that buying decision, tick, 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 all the products they want directly from this one order form page with the bulk add to cart buttons. So I recommend choosing your columns wisely to give that important buying data directly on the page with which will have the bulk add to cart buttons on it. So you can have things like the name, the short description, you can have columns for attributes and variations and that sort of thing. And of course you need the add to cart column, which is add dash to dash cart. So you add a comma separated list of all the columns you need, use the read more button to find out which ones, and they will appear in the table where your bulk add to cart buttons are listed. If you've got images, then I recommend setting them to be quite small because you don't want them to take away from the bulk ordering side of things. Um, if you want bigger images, leave the light box, uh, box ticked so that people can click on an image to view it bigger. And that will not take them away from the bulk add to cart page because um, they can then just close the light box to get back to it. So I think that's a good compromise. There's various other options and I'm just going to talk to the ones that are relevant. By default, the um, product table, a column such as the title, will link through to the single product page. And that's absolutely fine if that's what you want. Some people who are adding the add, bulk add to cart buttons using the plugin will not want to take the customer away to the single product page. And as I said a minute ago, all the important information about each product is listed as columns in the table anyway. So if you want to disable access to the single product page, write none in the product links box. And if you don't do that, then people will be able to click through. There's a lady load option for if you have lots and lots of products and need to speed it up. Uh, various other options. I'm just telling you about the relevant ones here. And this is where we get to the most important one. The add to cart column section, which has an add to cart button option. This is where you either want to click checkbox only or button and checkbox. The key thing is that it's the checkbox that provides the bulk add to cart functionality that you're looking for. So with a button, 
a add to cart button will appear next to each product in the table. Whereas with a checkbox, a little tick box will appear so that people can tick multiple boxes and then add to the cart in a single click. So I'm going to choose checkbox only, but you can have both if you prefer. Another important uh, option for using it as a bulk add to cart plugin is to tick the box to show quantity selectors in the add to cart column. And that's because you want your customers to be able to choose the quantity, assuming your products are available in a choice of quantities, and add to the cart directly from that WooCommerce order form page. You don't want them to have to click elsewhere, and you certainly don't want them to only be able to buy one if you'd rather they bought more than one. So tick that box. Similarly, if you do have variable products that you want to um, have the bulk add to cart buttons for, then you need to choose one of the variation options. No point linking to the product page because the whole point is that people are buying the products directly from this order form page. So I'd probably recommend for most people use the drop down list option, but if you prefer, you can list each variation on a separate row of the table. Either way, each product or variation in this case will have that tick box next to it so that people can tick, tick, tick lots of products and add them all to the cart. So I'm going to leave it as a drop down list. And add selected position. This is the box that people tick um, in order to add all the products that they've selected to the cart. So the most user friendly option is to add it above and below the table. But if, say, you've got multiple tables on a single page, you might just want to add it below so, um, to, so that people don't get confused about which button applies to which table. I'm going to just add one table to the page listing my products. So I'm going to select both because I don't want people to miss it. You can also change um, the button. Let's call it bulk. Add to cart. You wouldn't call it that, I realise that, but just for the sake of illustration. And then finally, we've got some controls as to how your product tables will work. So you can add filters above the table if you want to. Yeah, let's add a filter. Let's add some tags as a filter. Um, there's loads of filters you can add so that, uh, based on uh, categories, tags. You can even do filters by attribute if you type ATT colon and then the name of a global attribute. By global attribute, it has to be added in this section under products attributes. So if you've got attributes in there, you can write ATT colon and add them here. So let's do a few filters at size, at color, all comma separated. So that will add filter drop downs above my list so that people can use the filters, quickly find products, tick the ones they want and add them to the cart in bulk. Uh, there's also some other options about different controls. Let's show a search box above the table. That's quite nice. We'll want pagination buttons if there's too many buttons to appear on the page. And a reset button so that after people choose their filters, they'll be able to reset. And that's it. So I'm going to click save. And the next step is to actually create our page listing the products in the order form layout with bulk add to cart buttons. To do that, I'm going to go to pages, add new. And you can do this uh, on any page or post or even a text widget or whatever on your site. Um, anywhere you can add text, you can basically add a product table um, listing your products with the bulk add to cart buttons. And if you're a bit more technically minded, you can also add this to the the product archive template within your theme. So if you wanted to automatically show this layout with bulk add to cart buttons on the main shop page, category pages, tag pages, etc., for your products, then you could do that, but you would need to add the product table to your category archive template. And if that's something you want to do, then refer to the plugin knowledge base and you can download a sample template to get you started on that. For now, we're going to keep it simple and I'm just going to show you how to add the product table with bulk add to cart buttons to a normal page. So let's call it uh, WooCommerce bulk add to cart. I realise you wouldn't call it that, but that doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to the main content area for my page 
and you'll see here that the WooCommerce product table plugin has added a toolbar button called insert product table. So we just click on that and that, if you save your page and view it now, you will see a table listing all of your products with the options that you selected on the settings page a minute ago. Um, I'm going to just edit the short code slightly to show product from a specific category only because I happen to have tons of products on this site and I don't need all of them. So you type category in the short code equals and then within quotation marks just the name um, or indeed the ID doesn't matter of your category. So I'm going to do the, the category slug which is clothing. So let's select a full width page to give more room for our add to cart buttons. Um, this is a template in my theme. Your theme might have different templates from what you can see here. So I've published the page and now I'm going to view the page. So here we have a WooCommerce bulk add to cart order form. Um, as you can see, I've got filters here where I can choose the size, I can choose the color, um, and I can reset it to view more. I can search for a t-shirt, for example. Um, so there's lots of stuff there. But most importantly, uh, I have the bulk add to cart button. So I can choose a quantity, I can tick the box, I can buy as many products as I want. If there are variable products, and you can see an example of one here, you can choose a variation, you can tick the box, and then you can click the add to cart button and add them to the cart in bulk. As you can see, that is a really quick and easy way to allow your customers to buy in bulk on your website. I hope that's useful to you. You can get the WooCommerce product table plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk, and feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions about how it works or how to use it. Thanks for watching.